the concept I want to introduce to you is that of pathogenic beliefs. And pathos means something that's injurious, something that hurts. What this means is, you, is if you have a belief that is somehow destructive to you, either because it generates stress to your body or because it leads you to destructive action. A very simple example of this would be to say that um, somebody believes that the end of times is coming. And so this would be a, a pathogenic belief, uh, partly because it's, uh, the person can get depressed or feel hopeless because the end times are coming, so they feel hopeless. But it could also lead to destructive behaviors because there are some people who say there's no point in recycling, there's no point in finding cleaner energies because the end times are coming, so everything's going to be gone and there's no point in trying to improve the world. And so I, um, I attended a lecture in uh, this past week and that talked about these things. And when people were asked to mention some pathogenic beliefs, uh, that was one that came up, but also mm, certain beliefs that were mentioned were um, Murphy's Law, the belief that if anything can go wrong, it will go wrong. These um, pathogenic beliefs, they can become self-realized prophecies. If you allow a belief to affect you in a way that depresses you, confuses you, lowers your vibration, or if, um, if that leads you to take actions or to not take actions that are necessary, and because of this belief, that becomes destructive to you. Another um, pathogenic belief that was mentioned in this lecture was, which to some people that were attending was surprising when somebody said, uh, my thoughts create my reality, and that was mentioned as a pathogenic belief. And I know that a lot of my students, a lot of my clients would protest because they would say, no, I've read all the self-help um, self books and the movie The Secret of Love Attraction, Abraham Hicks, The Course in Miracles, uh, Wayne Dyer, Chopra, Tolle, all these people, you know, this is what they're teaching, that your thoughts create your reality. And the, there's this slogan, change your thoughts to change your reality. And uh, the thing with this is that it's a, it's a very poor summary because some people understand this as your thoughts alone create the totality of your reality. And many times what is meant is that your thoughts are a trigger or are the initiator. An idea is an initiator of affecting reality. You can get motivated to act on an idea and that will affect part of reality. So you are a co-creator of reality. And so how this can be a pathogenic belief is that people say, well, my thoughts are responsible for all my reality. So people end up blaming themselves for anything bad that happens. Like there's a, if they have an accident, they're like, how did I create this? And if, um, if not, they lose a, a job, and there may be, you know, sometimes people lose jobs because they did something wrong. Sometimes they may lose a job because uh, the company is going in a different direction. And, uh, and sometimes losing that job may mean that there's a better opportunity for them, right? But um, this, uh, this idea, this pathogenic idea that thoughts create reality, when it's interpreted as my thoughts alone create the totality of my reality, becomes a destructive belief for people. And so the reason I'm vocal about this is that I have seen my students and my clients suffer with this, blaming themselves for things that happen, beating themselves up because they were not able to generate the realities they wanted to generate. And so you could say, you know, you're creating your reality, but so is everybody else, and there's a place where all those realities converge, and that's what we, you know, we have referred to in this class as the energetic social matrix. And so that's part of what we're tapping into when we're manifesting the feng shui way.